pro hit with you. Take a look at this. The Bright Angel Trail, known locally as the BA, is the most traveled trail in Grand Canyon National Park for very good reasons. One of two fully maintained trails on the south rim of the canyon, the trailhead is located just yards west of the El Tovar Hotel and Bright Angel Lodge in the heart of Grand Canyon Village. It is considered the safest trail in the Grand Canyon. Unless perched atop a mule, there is no easy way to the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Although a mule is not an easy chair, it is easier than hiking with a 30-pound backpack. The BA is just a few yards shy of 9.5 miles long, with descent in elevation of just over 4,500 feet. By comparison, the South Kaibab Trail is 6.5 miles in length and drops 4,820 feet in elevation. The degree of difficulty on the South Kaibab, the SK, is significantly more, but clearly a higher fitness level will be required for the steeper climb out. This alone makes the Bright Angel more accessible to the moderate hiker. There are accommodations along the BA and access to water. On the South Kaibab, there is water available at the start and finish. On the BA, water is found at 1.5 mile, 3 miles, Indian Garden at the 4.5 mile mark, and the Bright Angel Campground on the canyon floor. Although, from October until April, water is only available at Indian Garden and the Bright Angel Campground. Restrooms are available at Three Mile House, Indian Garden, and the Bright Angel Campground. When discussing treks to the bottom of the canyon with less experienced hikers, much is made of the time spent descending to the Colorado River. Regrettably, many hikers make the descent into the canyon in a sprint, a race against the clock. However, a false expectation is building. When hiking down the trails, it is never about time or destination, but the trip. Focusing on time over all else means a great deal of time spent staring down into the dirt in front of you to avoid any painful falls. Stopping regularly to soak things in is essential. Allow time to soak it all in if you are here without the certainty of returning someday. Pause, look up, and look around, and often. Around every corner, another spectacular view impossible to imagine is awaiting you. The vantage point changes as you go down in the canyon, providing unexpected views. From the Colorado River, the views are like nothing you've ever gazed upon from the rim. Most of the elevation change occurs during the first four miles of the BA. By the time you reach Indian Garden, the steep grade becomes more manageable and is less severe. This is the first place for overnight camping on the trail. Just beyond Indian Garden is an optional 1.5 mile trail out to Plateau Point. As one walks out to this point, the flat terrain is amidst the high canyon walls all around you. The sensation is surreal, even transformational. The contrasting beauty of the natural landscape fills the senses. It is an emotional and spiritual sensation. From Plateau Point, if you are planning to descend down the Devil's Corkscrew portion of the BA, then heat is a concern. The temperature rises about 5 degrees with every 1,000 feet you descend. If it is 75 degrees on the rim, it is usually about 95 to 100 degrees at the bottom. There is steeper terrain in spots again without any water available till you reach the Bright Angel Campground. If you are returning to the rim, the part of the hike that no one mentions in terms of time and exertion is about to begin. For every step down you take into the canyon, oftentimes two steps are required to get out. When ascending, the good news is that as your heart rate heats things up, the temperature of the air steadily drops. And fortunately, in the late afternoon, most of the upper 1.5 miles of the BA is in the shade.